Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's vocational series in YouTube tutorials. Today we're looking at the vibration camera problem, uh, which is the second order differ differential equation. You have the notes there beside you. And in equation four, the the second order differential equation is derived for you. In equation 6 and 7 are the analytical solutions with and without the forcing function. Okay, so we discussed the uh, forcing function in a second. And then the key to all of this is to break the equation 4, is to break that down into two first order differential equations. This is done for you here. So there's dv dt, which is dv dt is the, what we would call the second order uh, differential equation, but we've broken it down into a first order differential equation. And then the first first order differential equation is v r dx dt, whichever way you want to look at it. The problem is set up for you here, and then just to remind ourselves here, K1, K2, K3, K4 is designed to solve the first first order differential equation. L1, L2, L3 and L4 is designed to solve the second first order differential equation. And there it is roughly set up. So this was just to remind you here, uh, it says here where the mouse is named the cells with the corresponding label shown in column A. So cell B2 or wherever you are would be M. Cell B3 would be named as uh, B. Cell B4 would be named as D, etc. Okay, let's have a little, just go down a little bit. There's derived values there. We'll I have to have a screenshot or two. Vibrating camera problem. Just to remind you about equation 4 is the key thing. Equation 7 is the forcing function. So in a system of different equations used to describe a time dependent process, a forcing function is a function that appears to be in the equations as only a function of time. So we are going with the forcing function. There's a screenshot of the XL. So remember, just to remind you here, B2, B3, B4, etc. are named B. M, B, D, cell B5 is named as L, etc. Over here, these derived values, we see in a screenshot or two how these are derived. Just to remind you here that we've met this before, in the pendulum, the second order differential equation, we had K1, K2, K3, K4, L1, L2, L3, L4, and we used them to solve the two first order differential equations. There is the um, YouTube, I was going to start YouTube, there's the XL uh, for the two first order differential equations. Uh, you know, Alt F11 insert module, there you are, put it in. And there is a screenshot of the um, formulae, you, as this, you've done this in the pendulum, your A13 plus H and H is there, you're going up in point oh oh one of a second. K1, L1, K2, L2, etc. And sorry for jumping now. How do you get K1, K2, K3, etc. using these formulas here? Go back to there and okay, I know it's a bit tight on the eyes, but it's the best I can do at the moment. So you've derived K1. L1, K2, L2, K3, L3, etc, etc. In column J is the solution to the first first order differential equation. In K is the solution to the second first order differential equation. And then over here in column L is the um, analytical solution. To simplify matters, there's a number of constants here in the analytical, and in cell, I think it's 
my eyes are going. I think it's in cell. Well, anyway, constant one and constant two. We derive them there. Okay, and remember, these are named as well. So L is uh, that cell there is named L. That cell there is named K. That cell there is named W N. That cell there is named as F O. That cell name is named there as W. So all of these are named. And then we get the two constants, constant one and constant two. And the reason why we do that is, it just this formula is bad enough without actually doing the, you know, putting in the whole value. So we try to short circuit by just naming constant one and constant two here first. Okay, so hope that helps. Thanks very much for listening.